Lakia Cooley didn't know much about solar energy homes, but soon her family will be living in one. I went through Habitat for Humanity. I applied through them basically for a house as a first time home buyer. And then they told me that it would be a solar house if I was interested. Ms. Cully will be living in the Empower House. The house came together with the help of Parsons School of Design, the Stevens Institute of Technology, Habitat for Humanity, and the D.C. Department of Housing for the 2011 Solar Decathlon. The competition hosted by the U.S. Department of Energy challenges 20 teams from universities around the country to design, build, and operate solar-powered homes. These teams work for two years on the houses now showcased on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. The homes that won previous competitions weren't cheap. Some cost more than $800,000. This year, for the first time, cost is a key consideration in the competition. We instituted affordability to bring these, to make the houses more affordable for the average American. Um, but yet it's a contest. You've got a trade off between affordability and also high performance. The Empower House had to remain within Habitat for Humanity's budget. Estimated total cost of construction and design, less than $230,000, which won it first prize in the affordability contest at the decathlon. I think there is a mis misperception that green design energy efficiency has to be expensive. And I, and I think what's important is to bring this forward to everyone because I don't, it, it's not something that's elitist, that's only for the, those of us who have money. It's something that we all need to focus on. Most of the energy for the Empower House comes from the sun, but that doesn't just mean solar panels on the roof. Lakia Cully will also be saving money with what's known as passive solar. Unlike active solar systems, passive solar looks to design elements of a house rather than mechanical systems to collect, store, and distribute solar energy. Passive house uh, is about a really thick, highly insulated envelope that's airtight with the windows very carefully placed to allow sunlight in which will warm it in the winter but also shade so it doesn't overheat in the summer. So it can save the homeowner up to 80 to 90 percent in their utility bills throughout the course of the year. And with about 20 percent of our nation's energy expended in homes, that kind of efficiency is crucial in addressing America's energy crisis. The passive system also means that Empower House uses less solar panels. The solar panels on the roof are just half the size and the cost of most arrays used by houses in the competition. Left in the tube. Engineering so student Daniel Topaldo says becoming solar efficient has to tackle both the supply of energy coming into a house and how much it uses. We're not making as much energy as the other homes, but you have to look at your consumption as well. Um, we're not consuming as much because we're using our appliances and our home in the most efficient way possible. The technology has to work beyond just the decathlon exhibition. The real goal is to make it livable for Lakia and her three children. The house has been being stress tested, basically. We have to do a wash load every day, a dryer load every day, dishwasher load. We have to um, simulate taking a shower, uh, two or three showers. Uh, we have to keep the lights on for X amount of hours a day. So it, we simulate a, a family living in there. The reality of it was that we're making this home for a family. So the shower is like right behind this wall. So the shower run, when you want hot water, you get it in like two and a half seconds. Oh my, God. Oh and my then, goodness. And my house, it takes so long. I know. Lakia Cully says her neighbors in southeast Washington, D.C. didn't know much about solar energy. But after hearing about her future electricity bills, they're eager to learn more. They're excited and they're like, oh, a solar house, what's that? So they're asking me questions about it and then they're like, so you're not going to have an electric bill? How does that work? Can I get one of those? <laughs> The overall winner of the Solar Decathlon will be announced tomorrow, and then the Empower House will be transferred to the Habitat for Humanity site in D.C.